Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth for sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. It's amazing, you should try it sometime, it will change your life. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here, no harm, no foul, but I'll remember our Tom fondly. Why hello, my little basic bitches. <laughs> hello. In today's video, I give you yet another round of basic goodness. Some are not so surprising and some are beyond exciting. As I'm getting older and closer to death, I'm letting my inner Anne run the show. What can I say? She's not a risk taker. And she wants her eyeshadow to resemble the walls of a doctor's office. Basic, bland, stagnant goodness. But before I let her take over, a word from today's sponsor. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Are you bored? Are you craving a new adventure? Do you want to do something new? Or maybe you want to brush up an existing skills? Well, you have come to the right place, Sharon. Skillshare is an online learning community for beginners, pros, dabblers, and masters with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like you. Yes. Even you, Jennifer. Skillshare allows you to explore new skills as well as deepen existing passions. The beauty of Skillshare is that they offer so many different classes, from fine art to video and photography to even marketing. There is something for everyone. So no matter what skill level you're at, Skillshare has your back. Hey, that rhymes. And with most of the classes being under 60 minutes, you can find classes that fit your schedule. So with that said, I usually get a lot of questions about YouTube in particular, my editing. And while I use one particular program, I have been thinking about taking the plunge and learning how to edit using Premiere Pro. I'm a firm believer that you can always make something better. And when it comes to editing, I've learned a lot, but I can still learn more. One class that has been awesome and I cannot recommend enough is learn Premiere Pro and edit a how-to video for beginners. As this is a new space for me, this is incredibly helpful because I need to learn the basics. And Halise is not only a fabulous YouTuber, but she's a fabulous teacher as well. Plus, I can now do this. Magic. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads and they're constantly launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Skillshare offers membership with meaning, with so much to explore, real projects to create, and fellow creative support. Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. With that said, Skillshare wants to inspire a summer of creativity, or well, end of summer actually. So the offer will now provide new students with a one month free trial. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link down in the description box below, we'll get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Y'all go support the sponsors that support your garbage person right here. Thank you. So let's talk about some basic bitch palettes. These are in no particular order, but I will rank them in the end. So be prepared for a nervous breakdown. <laughs> The first palette I want to talk about is from Hindash, and this is the Butopsy palette. And this palette is genuinely one of a kind. I almost feel bad calling it a basic bitch palette because this is anything but basic. I purchased this palette when I was drunk shopping with my patrons, and yes, this retails for a whopping $70. She's expensive, but in my opinion, worth every goddamn penny. And I regret nothing. You'll notice that you get six giant pans, but each pan is a gradient, really making this a 12 pan palette. And what's really cool about this palette is that this is really meant for all skin tones. So you can use this palette in a variety of different ways. So while yes, the price tag is pretty steep, at the end of the day, I can utilize this not only as an eyeshadow palette, but a face palette as well. And it's actually what I currently have on my face today. I use Feel and Real as like a contour bronzer, which by the way, this kind of has like a gray tone to it. So if you're a cool tone pumpkin like me, you're gonna love that. There are two different blushes as well. And if you actually combine the two, they make a really, really beautiful color. There's a lot of versatility within this palette. All the shadows in this palette are vegan and have a very soft silk-like formula. However, it's not too soft where you feel like nothing sticks. For example, the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette, like I wanted to love that palette, but the formula of the mattes were just, they were so soft when you put it on the lid and you start to blend, they blend into nothing. It was really wild. No matter what base I would use, nothing would stick down. This is fantastic. While it has like a kind of that silky texture, this has a lot of pigment and this bitch is here to stay. It's funny because when I felt the shadows immediately from this palette, I was like, oh no, oh my God, this is going to be a pain in the ass to use, but quite Quite the opposite. And I'll be honest, when I first saw this palette released, I was really taken back by it because it just seemed like a palette that is incredibly difficult to use. When you see this and all of its beauty, it literally whispers to me, you're trash. And I know what I am. <laughs> 
And I'm like, thank you, Palette, for recognizing that. But honestly, this shit is so easy to use. It's so incredibly intuitive. It's wild. These shadows adhere to the eye so well, you do not have to waste any time blending. These shadows legitimately do the work for you. And what I really love about this is that you can really combine a lot of these colors, often making more unique colors. And depending on where you are in the pan, you can get like a more cooler tone, a more warmer tone. It's really, really unique. And like I mentioned before, this also doubles as a really great face palette. So you're getting a lot of use out of it. I also love that this is an all matte palette. There's something about an all matte palette that is just so goddamn sexy. And these shades are goddamn sexy. They're incredibly pigmented, but if you do use too much, you can use some other shades to soften the look. This is pure magic. This makes for a great everyday palette. And if you do need to pair it with a shimmer, you can. This formula works well with other formulas that I have in my collection. But honestly, this is kind of so beautiful that I'd rather just have an all matte look. Like this whole look today literally took, I don't know, less than 10 minutes. This is so fast and easy to use. If this scares you, don't let it scare you. It's incredibly intuitive. It's actually surprising. It's like riding a bike for the first time in like 20 years. You're like, I, I got it. That's how this feels. You can get a variety of beautiful looks with this palette. And to me, I guess why I'm calling it a basic bitch palette is that yes, it's definitely on the neutral side. Well, you do have this beautiful pop of red in here and it's just, it's basic bitch colors. But I assure you, there's nothing basic about this palette. And you'll notice that this is well used because this shit is incredibly dirty. <laughs> but I love this palette. I love, I love you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next palette. Let's talk about vanity makeup. I know. Yes, I know. This is the signature eyeshadow palette. This retails for a whopping 95 fucking doll hairs. That's right. <laughs> And when this came out, I am pretty sure in my makeup bingo, I probably said something stupid. I was like, blah, 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 blah. I'm funny, blah, 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 blah. You know, the usual. <laughs> anyway, as basic as this is, honestly, when this came out, this is all I thought about. <laughs> After doing that makeup bingo, I was like, I kind of need to try this palette. I kind of need to see if this is good or not. First of all, the packaging is extremely luxe. This reminds me of like a lighter version of the Pat McGrath packaging. If you have any of the Mothership palettes, you know that shit literally can be a murder weapon. This one is like a diet version that's like slightly lighter. And I really do love the gold detailing. It reminds me of like the Gucci bronzer packaging. And I love that packaging. The product sucks ass, but the packaging is fucking killer. And I was getting those vibes from this palette. When you do open her up, you get this nice, beautiful, size mirror here, you get 12 eyeshadows in three different textures. Six mattes, three metallics, and three diamond sparkles. The mattes are incredibly buttery and smooth, so easy to use, so incredibly pigmented. Little to no fallout, they blend effortlessly, and they have amazing longevity. The metallic shimmers, bitch, absolutely beautiful. They do apply very well with a wet or dry brush. I prefer to use a wet brush. I usually use glitter glue, and everything stays intact. There's no issues with cracking or fading. They're lovely. But to me, what are the true standouts in this palette are the diamond sparkle shades. Bitch. That is a true standout of this palette. If this brand ever released a palette just of diamond sparkles, oh bitch, I'm giving you my home. <laughs> Here, go ahead, take my rental, it's fine, here's my car. You want my job too? Fine, take it, fuck it. I'll live on the side of the street with my Diamond Sparkles palette, okay? That's how much I love it. It's just such a good formula. The shadows apply so beautifully to the lid and it gives you that wet, sparkly, slutty moment. These diamond shades to me are the true definition of what I would consider an alien slut shadow. Like it's just so wet and sparkly without it being like a massive amount of glitter bukkake on your face. Like everything is just so perfect. Perfect. I have tried other brands that kind of have like a similar formula, but there's usually like some sort of glitter explosion that almost makes it feel like it's not worth it to wear those shades. I don't know what they do with this formula, but everything just stays into place and it looks absolutely stunning. I've had this palette on for probably more than 12 hours, gone out in the heat and shit. This always looks perfect. Of course, I might look like a fat melted candle, but my eye bitch, it's stunning and I am in love with it. So I need this brand to come out with another palette stat and it needs to be those diamond sparkles. <laughs> the other thing that's great about this palette is that not only is it like a warm tone palette, but there is some cool tones in it too, kind of making this palette like half and half, which is really nice. And no matter what you use, what color combination, blah, 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 everything you're gonna do is going to look fucking stunning. Now, is this worth $95? Oh, you know, uh, uh, kinda? <laughs> I definitely like this better than some of the Natasha Denona palettes that I have that were over $100. So if I'm gonna base it off that, and actually some of the Pat McGrath palettes too. And if I'm gonna base it off that, 
if I'm gonna base it off that, then yeah, in my opinion, it's worth it. However, $95 is, it's a lot of money. So if you ever do see this on sale, highly recommend checking this out. But if you do have that coin to throw around, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you pick this up at full price. She's perfect. I love you. So the next palette I want to talk about is from Odin's Eye. And this is the Saga of Frisia. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that. Frisia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, I love, 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 love Odin's Eye. I heard so many of my beautiful, wonderful colleagues here on YouTube talk about Odin's Eye. So I did purchase some stuff a while back and I fell in love with their quality. In particular, they make amazing blushes and highlighters, especially unique highlighters. That said, the brand did reach out to me and asked if I would be interested in this new collection. And I was so excited because the collection is absolutely beautiful. And I actually kind of feel a little bit bad that I really didn't have the time to do it because this palette is just it's worth it alone. This is the Saga Frisia palette. She retails for $43 and you get two palettes. First and foremost, can we talk about the packaging? This is one of the most prettiest palettes I have in my collection. This looks like an old fairy tale book. You get this beautiful pink side and the other side of this palette is a beautiful mint green. And in the middle of the palettes, you do get this nice mirror. So on each side of the palette, you do have a mirror, which is great. What I really like about this particular color story is that, well, yes, it's mostly a neutral color story. You do have these really beautiful pops of color in here like the orange and the green. It's like an amp palette with a twist in a way. The mattes are beautifully pigmented and they blend like a dream. I am obsessed with them but to me I think what the true standouts are the metallics. In particular the shade Muse which is on the pink side of the palette. First of all the metallics in this palette like I mentioned they're phenomenal. They're incredibly buttery. They're very smooth. They have great longevity. Bloopity blop blop like they're fabulous all right. They're wonderful but I have been on the hunt for the hashtag quest for silver for a little bit now because I am obsessed and in love with my Sephora Moschino laptop bear palette. That is one of the best silvers I've ever used. I have some other silvers in my collection that for some weird reason doesn't live up to the hype of that particular shadow. But this one, oh, bitch, I think we found it. I know a bunch of y'all have mentioned give me glow to me and I'm definitely gonna go pick that up when I can. But this one though, oh, bitch, so good. What I like about this metallic in particular, especially this silver, is that it's not sparkly. It has a very beautiful metallic alien sex slut moment. I am obsessed with it. It definitely resembles Tin Man Dick. Like, it's so good. What also makes this brand unique, in my opinion, is that they do have various finishes and they do them incredibly well. Now, they do make like a very beautiful, like wet sparkly finish, somewhat similar to the Vanity Makeup Palette. However, I personally like the Vanity Makeup Palette a little bit more. This one can have a little bit of a glitter bukkake explosion moment. It's still very beautiful, but if you're looking for something a little bit more contained, I recommend Vanity. This one, if you don't mind glitter particles floating all around your face, it's fine. That said, I love the color stories of these palettes. And this palette is probably my favorite next to the Erd Mini palette. That one's phenomenal. If you're looking for a nice little green palette, that one's great. But this one though, this one's a winner. And I think this is really good for somebody that is not super keen to color, but definitely wants to get their feet wet. This is going to be your jam. Plus, look how fucking adorable this is. I love that this resembles all the books I had when I was a kid. Like, I love the binding on it. I love the feel of it. I think out of all the palettes today, this is probably the best packaging. We're gonna give her the best packaging award because this is absolutely stunning. So if you have been interested in wanting to check out Odin's Eye, definitely do. They really make some beautiful pieces. Not only is it really good quality, but aesthetically fucking pleasing. The next palette is from ColourPop. I know, I know, our Lord and Savior ColourPop. When ColourPop is not trying to save John Connor, they release a lot of shit. And yes, a lot of their shit looks exactly the same, but sometimes, just sometimes, they release something that I cannot stop thinking about. And for me, that was the Lemon Cello palette. <sighs> this is perfect. As someone who grew up, <laughs> watching a lot of Food Network. This is just giving me Food Network vibes and I'm here for it. Oh, I love it so much. This Lemoncello palette is a fucking gem amongst a sea of bullshit releases. This Warm Tone Cutie has better quality than most of their palettes. Their mattes are wonderfully pigmented, blend easily and have great longevity. And the best part is that this yellow, this little yellow, this Amalfi, beautiful. Much like the Quest for Silver, we're always on a hashtag quest for yellow on this channel and this yellow does not disappoint. The range of the mattes too are pretty unique because sometimes when ColourPop releases palettes like this, a lot of the time, a lot of the color story just feels very one note. There is a lot of depth and dimension in this palette. Nothing feels the same, which is incredibly nice. Now the standout of this palette are the shimmers. Bitch. 
Typically ColourPop shimmers are fine, they're okay, nothing to write home about, but these are fabulous. These are more smooth and there's less glitter bukkake. They apply well with glitter glue and you'll not experience any cracking or fading. Everything stays into place, has amazing longevity. One of the best metallics in my opinion in this whole palette, besides touring is fabulous, but this Capri shade, it's such a beautiful light chartreuse moment. It's so beautiful. This palette is a basic bitch dream. It really is. And one of my favorite color pop palettes of all time. Like I love Good Sport palette. Good Sport has been dethroned it's now limoncello. You are so good, baby. And I love this packaging. I just love it. It's just so good. When ColourPop does something right, they do something right. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about good old KKW. The camo eyeshadow palette unfortunately is gone. However, the brand is currently doing a rebranding, so I'm curious to see if this will come back into stock. It should because it would be a shame if it didn't. This palette was a lot of basic bitch fun. This palette retails for $52, and this palette has 12 shades, seven mattes, one duochrome, and four shimmer shades. That was a fucking mouthful to say. Anyway, weird campaign photos aside, this palette is absolutely stunning. Stunning. If you are a fan of gross, grungy, earthy, baby shit, the kind of colors that looks like you have food poisoning, bitch, this is the palette for you. KKW quality is pretty decent. Is it my favorite amongst the list today? No, but this palette is just a lot of fun to play with. The mattes, in my opinion, are probably the best thing about this palette. They blend so effortlessly, and if you do combine colors, they don't appear to look muddy on the eye. Everything blends into a beautiful gradient. It's absolutely stunning. The shimmers are good, in my opinion. The duochrome is kind of lacking in this palette, but if you just think of it as a shimmer, it's fine. However, if you do pair it with certain colors, you can see the shift a little bit more evidently, but if you are looking at this just for the duochrome, I wouldn't recommend it. Yes, you do get some glitter bukkake in the mix, but overall, this is a really Really solid palette, incredibly easy to use, user-friendly, and you're able to create a lot of really pretty looks in literally no time at all. And again, I cannot stress enough that these do not look muddy or patchy or anything on the eye. This is a good everyday grungy basic bitch palette. So I do have some more, but we're just going to leave it at five today. We're going to leave it at five because <laughs> otherwise I could be here all day. Um, but I am going to rate them because I feel like I need to rate them. That's probably my least favorite thing about these videos. So without further ado, let's rate them starting with my least favorite palette out of the bunch. I think this one's going to be pretty easy for me today. You know what? I think it's actually going to be pretty easy. We're going to go with KKW as being my least favorite. And the reason for that is, is that this is a good palette, but this is not the best quality if I compare it to the other palettes in this collection. Now also rumor has it that this I think has ColourPop quality or they come from the same lab or whatever. So think of this palette especially with the mattes anyway, as like good ColourPop quality. Okay, like that's how you should kind of look at this palette. So if this is on sale, I say, yeah, okay, go ahead, pick it up because it's definitely not worth the $52 price tag when you compare it to say ColourPop, that's always like literally what, fucking $16? Okay, that's why this is gonna be my least favorite, but still beautiful color story. Okay, cool. So the next one. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. All right, this is purely only because <laughs> the color story. All right, this is purely only because the color story. But I'm gonna go with Odin's Eye. Odin's Eye is next because I do like the quality of the eyeshadows I think are better than ColourPop, but I kind of like the Limoncello ColourPop palette more than I like this one. But it does make for a really good fucking silver though. Hold on, I need to rethink this. <laughs> it felt like I had all the confidence in the world and then I thought about that silver and then I was like, <gasps> Okay, hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. What, I'm, hold on, no. We're gonna redo that one because I think, I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad because uh, oh, this one has a yellow though. Actually, all right, so the question really comes down to what do I prefer more, yellow or silver? I wear yellow more than I would wear silver, right? I feel so bad. Okay, we're gonna go back with the Odin's Eye is gonna be number four, only because I definitely see myself picking this up more than I do this palette. While I do love the color story and the finishes and all that bloopity blop blop, this, I kinda like, if there was a fire and oh, but no, I can't say that because if there was a fire, I would pick up this one because <sighs> this is hard. I hate doing it. <laughs> the fucking Libra in me comes out. I'm just like, but I love them all. Can like, we give everybody a blue ribbon? No, we can't. Okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? Okay. We're going to say ColourPop. We're going to say ColourPop. We're going to say ColourPop. 
because this is a good yellow. Is it the best yellow? No. Who are we fooling here? It's a good yellow, but it's not Lemon Drop from Colored Rain. Fine. Number four is going to be <laughs> the Lemon Shallow palette. While this is a fantastic palette, I think I can get definitely a little bit more variety with the Odin's Eye. And actually it's really funny because how it's shaping out is pretty much how I read them in order now that I'm thinking that out loud. Ha, huh, okay. So this is gonna be number four, fine. Number three, we're gonna go with Odin's Eye. I really do love this palette. It's a fantastic little palette. I love the finishes. I love that you do get a good variety, but while also staying a bit basic, Aesthetically, this is so eye-pleasing. I really hope that they continue to release palettes like this so I can buy a bookshelf and then I can have them out like little teeny tiny books. Like this is fucking adorable. Love this one. Okay, number three. We're gonna say vanity makeup for number two. And the reason for that is, is that I think the quality of the Hindash is better, especially because this is an all matte palette. Blah, blah, so you can't really judge it on the shimmers, but the mattes in this one, I prefer more than the vanity one. But rest assured, vanity, you're still getting a really solid fucking product. If this palette was only diamonds, <gasps> it would be number one forever because the diamond shades are truly something that is fucking fantastic and special and lovely and I'm just obsessed with it. But since there's only three of these shades and the majority of everything else is pretty, you know, well, still very lovely, still basic bitch goodness, this one will have to be number two, but still fantastic palette and I feel bad about that one. Okay, number one, the winner, the true winner, the end all be all, the Hindash palette. This is definitely the standout for me because I can utilize this not only as an eyeshadow palette, but as a face palette and the formula is just lovely. Don't be scared of this palette. Like I know it can seem a little intimidating because you're like, well, what the, what the fuck? Uh, no, don't. <laughs> This is absolutely beautiful and you get a lot of variety in this palette and the formula is stunning and I'm excited to see what else Hindash releases because if it's anything like this quality, then I know I'm in good hands. So that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. It was a little touch and go in the beginning, <laughs> but I guess I subconsciously when I thought about this already ranked them in my mind. Love that for me. Any hoosies, now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of these palettes or if you have any basic bitch palettes you'd like to recommend for me to try out. I would love to try them. Let me know down below. And rest assured, there's definitely going to be another one of these videos probably sometime next month because I have so much basic bitch goodness and I just wanna share the love y'all. And just wants to come out and let you know her favorites. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and I love your face. With that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron babies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, gross, really trashy, really gross, really trashy, really basic garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do it without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. And um, just know that the Anne inside me loves you too. If you want to know what is currently on my face, which, you know, like I said, most of it is Hindash. But if you want to know the complexion and the boobity blah blah, along with other fun treasures in the description box below. I'll see you little basic beauties later. Bye.